Welcome to another episode of the Clever Dev. Today we are going to look at the MUI grid spacing, padding, and margin properties. And so, spoiler alert, spacing is really just adding padding. But um, anyway, using spacing, we by default it uh, it adds these this padding top and padding left. It does not add padding right, padding bottom. And we'll get into it why that is. It is by design. And so we'll look at margin. This grid's got a little bit of margin around it and um, look into padding, and you'll be able to space the items inside of your grids exactly as you want after this video. Stick around. Before I dive into the code, I want to mention that I have in the video details a link to this post that has full code for this grid and just reinforces the concept we learned here. So if you want the code or want to read more, you can learn more here. And then also, um, I have a link to the video details, uh, in the video details to an excellent Udemy course that um, has 40 hours of content. I did not create it, but I've spoken to the course creator. It's really solid stuff, and it's really reasonably priced as Udemy goes, so uh, definitely check that out. Here we are with the code that is rendering that grid that, we, that I showed in the intro, and um, normally what I do is I start with code, show it off in the intro to show where we're going to wind up, but this time I'm actually kind of going to just take a piece out at a time, like I'll take the margin out, take the spacing out, and we'll look and see what each different um, spacing prop, if you want to call them all that, uh, how it affects the DOM and the spacing and the layout and so on. So uh, with that said, I've got a grid here and a, a grid component, and it has the container prop on it, and it's wrapping four grid subcomponents that each have the item prop. So that's just how the grid works in MUI where top level is a container, child is an item. And these item and container props do actually impact the um, rendering of the grid. The items especially will impact how spacing uh, is applied. So anyway, let's start with spacing because that's perhaps the most common, but um, uh, a very useful prop and uh, margin and padding are pretty straightforward. Spacing is, you kind of got to know it, you got to um, have learned about it or seen it to understand it. So the real focus of this video is that spacing prop. So let's take a look at these um, in the DOM. So there's my root and we see MUI grid container. And then we see these items. We have the four MUI grid items. And we can distinguish them, of course, of course with that dash item class. So let me show you what happens. Um, well, first let's look at, this has padding left and padding top. All four of them do. So that is applied with spacing and item. So this item is interacting with spacing. So I'll strip item off of there. And you see this very first one no longer has the padding top or padding left applied. So adding it back, we see that again. So that tells me that, um, really what's going on is this MUI grid dash item class is probably being selected by this spacing prop somehow um, to apply the spacing. So now that we've seen really a straightforward example of what spacing does, let me just strip spacing off and we'll see. There we go. We have absolutely no padding on any of these. So what that tells me, and I don't have padding zero applied anywhere in here, just FYI. So what that tells me is that, um, and ignore this, this is just the item styling. So this item is a, a styled component, really just a paper. And anyway, so these grid items, I guess that's a little confusing, but anyway, the grid items have no padding applied or removed. I haven't done anything other than what's default. And we can see that they just have zero padding here. So I'm gonna add back in the spacing. And now we see the top and left. So um, one important thing to know is if you want to remedy this and get it kind of more symmetrical, you could say, um, with some padding right and padding bottom, then what you can do is you can really just um, add that to this SX prop and uh, at the top level, the root level, the container level. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I will add padding right and I'll just use the shorthand, same shorthand as we use for spacing. Let's just make sure that's looking good. So there we go. Already resolving that. 
And I want to stress, like, uh, there's nothing wrong in the default MUI design. It just depends on what your needs are for your specific layout. I like having these symmetrical grids, so I generally will go back and add padding right and padding bottom. So anyway, we've got that done. We've got our grid symmetrical now. So now I'm going to just strip off margin right here. Just want to show you real quick what that does. Um, no margin gives us no white space outside of our grid. Um, it's butting up against the, the edges of whatever its containing element is, which is a div in app.js, by the way. So adding back that margin, making sure everything's good, looks good. Um, then the last thing that we need to look at is padding. So padding, um, probably you're going to want it at uh, these item levels here. And so really the padding and the spacing, um, you probably will wind up wanting one of those or the other of those. But the spacing is just a nice shorthand uh, where you don't have to do nearly as much code. But in theory, we could say padding top two and padding left two. And already we're seeing something for this first item. It affected, since there's more total height now, it affected how uh, the layout is happening for the second and fourth items. But anyway, we see that looking a lot like how the spacing looked um, just a moment ago. So anyway, that's what padding would look like. I'm gonna add back the spacing, just show you one more thing. And we can do, um, what is it? I think it's spacing row spacing. There it is. I couldn't remember if it was spacing row or row spacing. But anyway, we can individually control the row or the column spacing. Combine these two props are equal to just the spacing. But, um, and you kind of have to think about it. So column spacing is actually adding spacing between columns. So it's adding padding left here. See it over here? and row spacing is adding spacing between rows, so it's adding padding top. So that's really the extent of what it takes to understand how spacing works for these grids.